Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And today, we're the stars of our uh. own favorite aminés. <laughs> we're the wow. B stars. Wow. We're the B stars of our own lives. <laughs> we did a speed draw. It was my idea. I thought we should draw ourselves as self insert OCs which means original yeah. characters. We're going to put ourselves in Finally. Our, own, our own animes and become the heroes we always <laughs> meant to be. Yeah. 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 I'm excited we to see it. what all of you guys drew. <laughs> I'm always excited. And I'm excited today, I too. I pumped. made you all push the recording back today because I was finishing mine. How dare. And it's going to be worth it, I bet. Yeah, I'm going to be so. blown away by this, I bet. Yeah. 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 Not rushed at all. No. no not even a little bit. And with that, Nathan, you're up first. Yeah. So let's uh, let's get you going here. Do you want to say what you did before we, we start the video? I did a JoJo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did a JoJo. You get, you gotta know at this so point. So downtrodden okay. about doing did, a d- JoJo. I did a JoJo, you gave guys. The people what they wanted. Yeah, everybody <laughs> wants it. We've got to. Yeah, Nathan, think We've about this. Got to do more JoJos. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to be the thumbnail. Okay, I think That's you probably true. made the thumbnail with this one. So I'm I'm excited. Let's uh, get into it. Three, two, one, go. So you know, people been asking for <laughs> JoJos. A lot. Obviously, I had to draw myself with a stand, so I had oh. to do two characters. <laughs> That's twice um, the work. I put myself in uh, season four JoJo, the uh, Diamond is Unbreakable arc, because that's my favorite arc. Granted, at the time of recording this, I haven't seen part five yet, but part four is so good. It's just like small town silliness. Punch, punch your enemies until they become your friends, sort of. I do love that. Um, and I love this face, dude. Yeah. This, yeah. yeah. Carved no, that right out like a classical there's hardly, statue. There's hardly any bearded characters in JoJo. So the only bearded character reference I had was like old man Joseph. And his beard is just, is, is just that on his face. Just painted on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just um, makeup. I did also oh. want to give myself uh, the cool Jotaro hat hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> so the hat is also my hair. Oh, good. Oh, the there mug. it is. <laughs> so good. Uh, yeah. My my stand is, uh, you know, it's it's got to be Drawfee themed, obviously. It has to be. What's it called? Oh, that's so good. Uh, well, all the stands in that uh, in the in the season in part four are named after bands. Um, so, I, but like you know, localized the, because of copyright, the names are changed slightly in sure. the anime. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking something like Weird All. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Weird Very good. All. Yeah. Because we're all pretty weird on here, yeah. and also Weird Al is my favorite <laughs> musician. That makes and sense. I still can't believe he did the intro to Cartoon Hell. Yeah, that's pretty rad. Yeah, I'll never like, truly believe that that happened. Weird, weird <laughs> all. Maybe, maybe even Wired all. I don't know how many, Damn. how far away they had to get to make it. Um, anyway, that yeah, I, I figured my character would be sort of like a uh, a rival to the the mangaka Rohan, uh, and my my thing is that I I use digital media oh, instead shit. of traditional, and uh, that that would be, and again we'd start off as rivals, but we'd end up becoming friends because that's that's sort of the ethos with with a f- with the exception of like a few. A couple like serial killer characters that are beyond redemption. Wow! Everyone else, <laughs> yeah. everyone else becomes friends. Uh, I feel like that's so anime too that you would have because every anime character has like one thing that's their mm-hmm. thing. So the fact that you're like, I'm a digital artist. I yeah. only draw on the computer. <laughs> it just feels right. Yeah. Maybe you have to accept uh, that, you know, sometimes traditional is good, too. Traditional, I mean, uh, 
<laughs> have you seen the way they animate Rohan drawing? It's it's incredible. It's clearly because I'm intimidated by him that I put on this facade. And of course, after I get defeated by the main characters, I have like my breakdown crying <laughs> where I plead for their forgiveness and then we become then we all go out for Italian food. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, the screen on the belly. Oh. Uh, so yeah, do you I, just like use your stand to record episodes of Droppy? Yeah, that's what it seems to be. <laughs> this is how I wish it were. Yeah. Like most yeah. stands have some, I mean, they get pretty weird. Mine, I guess, doesn't have a ton of combat potential. Maybe, I mean, it. I, I bet it has something to do with taking dumb ideas and making even dumber drawings. Like if, <laughs> if, if you have an idea... And you say it, and it's dumb enough. It like manifests, maybe. <laughs> That's oh, scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this line work uh, is so clean. This is yeah. nice line work, you. dude. Oh, you're gone. You're We're back. S- Hell yeah. I was using the uh, I was using the the Frendin inker nib instead of the uh, the brush mm-hmm. for, for these inks. I do love the nib. The nib was good. And uh, you're going to see the color scheme. It's going to be reminiscent of when I drew Steven Universe as a, <laughs> as a JoJo. Um, and yeah, you know. Ethan, this is so just, cool. Yeah, this yeah. is rad. Thank you. Like, it isn't about the fact that, you know, I, I think you did this at the last minute. But despite that, this looks fantastic. And I'm very yeah, impressed really. by it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you could have just not said it was last minute. <laughs> yeah, I would have never no, known. No one would I need, have known. I, I need to be honest. You don't need to be honest. I went with uh I went <laughs> you with literally Kakuin. don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of my powers is I have to be honest. <laughs> Honesty. <laughs> in in anime. Anime me is always very honest. I think that's beautiful. Oh, and you're getting that special shading style. Ooh. Yeah. You know, I uh, I realize when I draw myself, like for any of these speed draws, when it's a self insert, I always give myself a beanie and a hoodie. So I figured I'd I'd stick with that. That is funny because you don't really wear beanies that often. I only see you only wear beanies, winter. yeah, like in yeah. the winter, not when you're inside. <laughs> I just <laughs> on the go, I, you know. It's it's not winter right now, but maybe I'll start wearing beanies again. It's t- it's far too hot for a beanie. Yeah, get a right summer now. beanie, dude. Okay, a lightweight what? summer beanie. <laughs> it's a get out of here. It's, it's my hair. It's my hair in this. So <laughs> I don't here, think it needs to be realistic. <laughs> here I I do I do a bunch of stuff that I don't end up actually using. Oh, but, I love that part. <laughs> uh, you know, I was trying I was trying to make like the wispy. I added too much. I was like, do I want the the wispy steam coming out of the mug? Do I want this sort of aura? And so I'm just like, none of my layers are labeled. I'm just messing around with it. I decide (laughs) I'm going to see them. (laughs) I'm going to keep my the aura on me, but not on the stand and have the stand sort of like phasing out of me. That feels right. Uh, Yeah. And there it is. That's that's me. So cool. Nathan, excellent job. No one would have known this was last minute if you hadn't. Told on yourself, you tattled. <laughs> yeah, you're a little snitch. You're a snitch. Yourself. <laughs> I snitched myself. <laughs> you snitched yourself, but you made an awesome piece of art. Thank you. And I think it's delightful. Um, I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. So cool. So good. I'm go now. Jacob, go now. I'm you Jacob, and I go now. <laughs> uh, so for mine, as anyone who knows me probably would have guessed, I wanted to do Haikyuu, my favorite uh. volleyball boys. But I did a little did a little twist. Much like the so, boys do in the air when spiking the ball. Yes. <laughs> Zing. If you watch anime, you know that it's oftentimes the, the line work is very thin and very clean. And it's kind of like alongside the type of line work I would usually do. Very clean. I wanted to challenge myself a bit. So I styled this on the manga Ooh. instead of the anime. Because the manga is really rough. It's energetic. And I love the look of it. So I wanted to try and do and do that. So I'm going to get into it. Sweet. I'm so excited to see this. Three, two, one, go. All right. So I took a nice pause right at the start. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love a- to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Collect your thoughts. 
Yeah, and then I then I get right into it. Um, I was I was using as reference a spiking pose from the manga uh, that I was kind of adjusting a bit here because I'm I'm not an expert at drawing volleyball poses. You might guess. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Not yet. This is the first one I've ever drawn, but I like the oh, pose a lot because yeah. it had cool foreshortening and, and a lot of like action to it. Hell yeah. Oh, you're going to smack that ball, dude. Oh, I love the energy of this already. <laughs> POV, we are the ball. <laughs> yeah, we are the ball about to get smacked, about to be smashed. Uh, and then I wanted to try and kind of emulate the style that um, the author of Haikyuu does, Furudate. The style that they do eyes, they kind of this like cat like look to them. Um, it's interesting because the the Haikyuu manga has changed visual style drastically from the beginning to now. Like that's if you, cool. If you go back, it like looks totally different just as the arts evolved. So this is closer to what it looks like now, rather than at the beginning. Hell yeah! That's, that's fun when like a a series has been going long enough that the the artist who draws it is like I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it different. Yeah, completely different. Yeah, and like as you go, you can see it happen gradually. But if you just look at like issue one and then issue you know three hundred or something, it's wild. <laughs> well, then they become so practiced at drawing volleyball boys. Yeah, totally. But you can't help but change a little bit. Uh, there's the save. Good, nice. Here's Glad the flip. You saved. saved it, flipped it. Nice. We now. Head. We now know that people will pause it and look at your yeah, file names. Yeah, because they did that to me. Which is <laughs> criminal. Um, so I'm using a, a rough inker brush here Ooh. Um, to try and match like the inking style of the comic, which like, it's truly like, you have to look it up after this. It's during action shots, the lines are wild. Gives it more action. Yeah, yeah. it's like Movement. to give it like motion and like this kinetic energy that I, I love. I love that. So I want, and I'm not good at that. So I really wanted to try and like figure out how that, how that do. It's looking great so far. So cool. Thank you. And also this meant I didn't have to color anything. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Which is pretty cool. Oh, this already <laughs> looks so like manga-esque. Yeah. I wanted to make it look like it could have been an excerpt from the manga itself. Um, and this actually is a pretty slow speed draw as they go because it took me about like two hours i think mm -hmm. total so it's actually <laughs> we, we get to see a, a pretty good bit of the process here wow so jacob you think you would be a spiker in in the volleyball team you'd be the ace i i feel like my <laughs> drawfee persona yeah would definitely want to hit the ball very hard That's, yeah, <laughs> yeah that point. sounds about right <laughs> good point um whether or not it was successful you know, that's another story. Um, here, I'm messing with... Wow. I was messing with some manga action line brushes. Um, I end up not using any of the pre-made brushes because it wasn't giving quite the right effect, but you'll see as we go here. Um, I spend a lot of time wow. futzing around with this background. Ooh. I love that panel break. Yeah, the panel yeah. break I thought was cool, and I was trying like a gradient that I was going to then do like a screen tone over, um, <laughs> but I didn't like that. And then I try uh, some other some other lines. I end up actually, and you'll see when I get to it in a second here, I end up having to use a technique that Julia has taught us before. Yeah. Because um, I tried the brush <laughs> to make these horizontal lines. Oh. But it looked too like static. I wanted to look like I was are, jumping up and at. Those are vertical lines. So he, yeah, vertical <laughs> lines. So here I am using the uh, the actual pen tool and yeah. pads. Yeah. There it is. See me go through and uh, from that oh one vanishing God. point, make all of the lines. Wow. It was more time consuming, but I think that the end effect is is better. It's very satisfying. As it to tends watch to go. Yeah. yeah. So I, I figured I would actually ah. uh, take the time to do it. Then this is the exact same way they did it in the manga, too. I was trying to shortcut it and I couldn't get the same feel, so. There was a part I cut out, a long pause where I had to go over to Julia and be like, how do you <laughs> do the thing again? Help me. Help me. <laughs> Help me. I am baby. Yeah, that looks hella good. Oh, this yeah. looks great. Uh, then here come the screen tone brushes. Nice. We love a screen tone brush. Good. Oh. Sweat. oh the water. The water droplets. The, the sweat. 
Uh, then I had to go back in with a, another sketch to get the, the jersey stuff. I'm on team <laughs> team Droff. Yay! Yeah, that's Yay. us. <laughs> um, number nine, I just chose because my birthday is on the ninth. Um, um, so is mine. Yeah, so is yours. I realize now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, Selfish. Sorry, it's taken. <laughs> It's also, okay. I You're my senior. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm your senpai, dude. <laughs> I love the implication that this it means that we're all on a volleyball team together. Like, yeah. You, yeah. In this anime? Are, yeah. In this anime as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, here, I pause a while. Um, I might even liquefy a little bit because <laughs> I wanted to adjust the angle on the, the text wow. a little bit and then fix it up. Uh, then a part I was really proud of is coming up. There's like a special... <laughs> type of shading that's done on the jersey that's like this big chunky shading but then it's um sort of has like a screen a tone like you'll see what i mean when i get to it it's kind of hard to explain um the big chunks are faded out with like action line manga screen tones oh so i had to figure out a way to make that work so right now i'm just chunking in the basic shapes and then um i was happy with the what ended up working I got this brush and then I did like this. Oh yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Cool. Look at you top. rotating your canvas. Yeah, I had to for this. <laughs> nice. Um, so many skills on display. <laughs> then here I added a little bit of a paper texture to it. And wow. then I warm up the tone a little bit. So it's kind of like you're reading the manga. Wow. By, by lamplight. So good. This looks uh, like yeah. a Tumblr edit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's the final one. I was really proud of how that's it came awesome. out. I thought it looked that really cool. That looks so cool. That's great. That's so good. <laughs> and I got to try out a lot of uh, things that I'm not normally good at or don't do. So I feel like I learned. Yay. What, what were you going to have in the word bubble that you ended up getting rid of? Um, I think it was just going to say something like, I'm going to smash right through or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, I had originally <laughs> thought I was going to do like a more like more panels and have like a oh, little wow. bit of oh a, my God. Like a story bit, but then that was going to take way too much time, and so yeah, I did yeah. this instead, and I'm glad I did. Uh, that's it for me. That means it's Karina time. Oh God, Jacob, that was so good. Thank you, Karina O'Clock. Okay, well, I would love to preface this by saying I'm not thrilled with this drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Because to my understanding, the prompt was choose your favorite anime. Because if it was just choose an anime you like, I would have chosen something like Gurren Lagan or Paranoia Agent or something visually exciting. But unfortunately, <laughs> my favorite anime is Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, <laughs> a show that I wouldn't call beautiful. <laughs> I think that so far we've chosen our favorite animes. Yeah, yeah, that's, JoJo. yeah. that's JoJo's what I thought mine. the prompt was. Yeah, you were, yeah, you were correct. correct. Yeah, I did so yeah, so that's what I chose, and it it, it came out exactly the way you thought it would. <laughs> um, well, I'm excited to see it. I yeah. think it's going to be better than you <laughs> let on. I never know. <laughs> uh, do you want me to go ahead and count you in? Do it. All right, three, two, one. So, yeah, um, for me, this was more, uh, well, I wanted to do a real dynamic pose because you got to get that really overdramatic Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I don't know if I can actually do that with my shoulder kind of thing going. <laughs> so yeah. that's what, but for the most part, I just treated this um, as trying to copy the style, which is not something I, I feel like I usually do. It's usually a lot more flowing into my own style because I worked as an animator for a while and one thing I was really bad at was staying on model so for me I thought it'd be fun to really try and like nail down the style more than anything oh, <laughs> yeah, <friend. totally. laughs> so a little drawing on the left yeah so I just wanted to make it look like it was straight out of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX that's what and we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's really kind of all I did. <laughs> all you're doing but, is telling us that you did exactly what the prompt was. 
I just feel like I need to justify it because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. (laughs) (laughs) Well, anyone who wants to can watch your video where you explain why Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is objectively the best one. (laughs) I have an hour-long video talking about why Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is my favorite anime, but it's not for the art, I'll tell you that much. Um, (laughs) So, yeah, and one thing I had to figure out going into this is who my character and my Yu-Gi-Oh! GX self-insert would be, and that was kind of hard because, you know, it kind of revolves around what kind of deck you play, and the only decks I know how to play are Yu-Gi-Oh! GX character decks, which (laughs) I can't have the same deck as Chaz or Jesse Anderson. (laughs) That would be weird. So what I came up with was the only other deck I know how to play, which very predictably is a Blue Eyes deck. Yes. (laughs) But also in the anime, only Kaiba has the Blue Eyes. So I think my, my character in this is that I am a villain of the week and I have stolen Kaiba's deck and Chaz Princeton needs to teach me a lesson. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah. Also, I had to draw a dual disc with accuracy, so that was fun. Yeah, that's like... You're you're an incredibly skilled burglar to be able to steal probably one of the most highly guarded decks in the world, but then you still lose at battling to... So a guy named Chaz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we become friends. <laughs> yeah. Because he's my favorite. <laughs> you have to learn to play with your own deck because the heart of the cards is only in the deck yeah. that's yours. Yeah. I just stole this plot from an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX where someone, oh, someone... S- someone steals Yu-Gi's deck. So oh. this is just the, <laughs> the spiritual sequel where <laughs> I steal Kaiba's deck. <laughs> Me. <laughs> but also Kaiba kinda loves it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Are you dating Kaiba? Did you do you steal his No, deck? I'm a student. <laughs> okay. Kaiba's like twenty nine by the time <laughs> GX is around. I can't date him. Fair enough. That was okay. a stupid question. Sorry. That was a very dumb question. I can't believe I asked that. I'm sorry. But yeah, so this was just a lot of me doing very um felt like very clinical line work because I just wanted to make it look like Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to match the style. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of dramatic fabric folds, a lot of accuracy with that dual disc. Also, I gave myself, because in GX, um, a lot of the main characters can see dual spirits. And I thought, might as well make it so that I can also see dual spirits. Like, I deserve that. <laughs> so here's my dual spirit. This is one of the cards in my Blue Eyes deck. This is Kidmoto Dragon. Oh, he's If precious. it gets sent to the graveyard, I can special summon a dragon card from my hand. So and you know it's going to be Blue Eyes. And you that's how you use it. So <laughs> yay. That's Amazing. my buddy. I love and it. For this one, I do something I don't usually do, which is just pure cell shading. (laughs) I usually slap on a multiply layer and um, pick one shadow color. But for this one, I just, I dropped everything and painted it (laughs) as I went. So (laughs) that was, that was tedious, but also fun. (laughs) The style seems very, like, not you. So kudos to you for for trying to... Like I said, this was this is just, if nothing else, a little challenge to me because I've never been good at following a style. When I worked at a studio, I would always need revisions, (laughs) and I felt bad. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, directors I've worked with, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of see if I could get it close. I feel like I've definitely approximated at least someone trying really hard to copy the Yu Gi Oh, like. Style. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say definitely. Yay. It's also just so fun to watch you do like clean lines. Like really <laughs> clean lines. That's true. Because I don't think I've ever seen you do really clean lines before. Like I don't, the same I don't really like doing clean lines. So this this took a little bit of effort. I feel like this was one of those drawings that made my back hurt a little. <laughs> but <laughs> it was fun. That's what happens when you do art sometimes. Your whole body hurts. Yeah, Yeah. sometimes you just tense up so hard. Yep. Art's painful. (laughs) 
My made my back hurt looking at the pose that I put my back in <laughs> yeah. in the drawing. Not a pose you could emulate in real life. No. I did have a fun time figuring out which way the thumb points because I never know. And trying to put my arm back like that and being like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. Yeah. Moto Dragon looks like someone like tried to draw a realistic version of like pow. <laughs> Pal- Patamon? Which one? <laughs> Patamon? The little yeah, picky boy? It's kind of got Patamon vibes with the little wingies. Okay. And for the background, I just wanted to make it look ugly because that's what Yu Gi Oh backgrounds <laughs> look like. Had a little glow on the, because he's a spirit, and then I put a lot of dots and then decided it was too many. <laughs> <laughs> God, I could see this image being a wall scroll. I, I put a just a black overlay because they like to do that sometimes for no reason. Yeah. And that that's that was my thing. Beautiful. <laughs> so I think good. it turned out really great. Yeah. Also, yeah. I gave myself one glove. Of course. Good, because I only wanted one. But yeah, so I think it's nothing awesome. too exciting. <laughs> but you captured you. Like, the style you were good. That was like the whole point of the exercise. <laughs> Yay. Was to do it in the style of the dang thing, and you did. Yeah, here's me after I stole Kaiva's deck and Chaz Princeton's about to duel me to teach me I was wrong. <laughs> And then maybe just... after you graduate, you can date Kaiba. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> he respects you now. Yeah. Because you're the only person who was able to steal his debt. Yeah. Loki was pretty impressed by that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Nice. Great job, so Karina. So good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Julia. Yeah. I'm really excited for this one. Yeah. I, I want to <laughs> preface the preface. Okay. And say that. Julia's speed version is instead of seven minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah. And there's a good reason for that, Julia. Do you want to share the amount of time you worked on this? <laughs> okay, so I spent 10 hours and 23 minutes on <laughs> Wow. So what happened, what happened wow. with mine? So I did Violet Evergarden, which is my favorite anime. <laughs> Here's the problem with doing Violet Evergarden. It's by Kyoto Animations. And if you know anything <laughs> about Kyoto Animations, is that everything they make is beautiful. They're also the people who did uh, A Silent Voice and just saw a whole bunch of other ones. And I, I went to Google and I wanted to see how they made backgrounds. And of course, the first video I found was just like, Violet Evergarden changed how animation is made. <laughs> so I was like, oh. Now you do it. Uh-oh. Now you do it. No biggie. Just change how animation is made. So I tried my best to do it kind of how they do it because oh it was taking 10 and a half hours. I started taking shortcuts somewhere along the way. <laughs> God forbid you didn't work for 20 hours. Because <laughs> I had to learn a new program for mine. Uh, Jacob, do you want to start? I'll, I'll get in. I'll get in it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Julia, what? is this Blender? <laughs> yeah. So the uh, way Julia... <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> so like, I, I knew I was going to get flexed on because I saw how long it took you <laughs> before I even did mine. So, <laughs> yeah, I knew, but I wasn't expecting this. Well, Julia, when did you learn how to use Blender? Uh, you're you're watching me learn Blender. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> In <dude>. real time. <laughs> I learned how to do a little bit of Blender like 10 years ago, but that was it. Um. But th- this is just me basically learning from the beginning again. Um, when I looked up how Kyoto Animations did the backgrounds, it looks like they did a lot of uh, 3D modeling. Like they make t- all the typewriters and mechanical things are done um, in some sort of 3D modeling program. And then they paint like all the characters on top. And I think they might do textures and paintings in the 3D software, but God, I did not want to figure that one out, so I, I wind up just <laughs> painting over it. I mean, this is like a good thing that a lot of people do. Like, I know this is something yeah. you can do with like clip paint and stuff where you can, you know, or like even just SketchUp, I think is one of them where you can model your backgrounds and then just draw over it. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's basically what, what I do. real smart people do. Yeah, and I also <laughs> wanted to test it to see if I could do this for like you know another season of Draw Detectives, like maybe model it easier. Um, 
Maybe this is if I'm faster, absolutely I'll do it. wild to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wow. It's not what you expected <laughs> to see when you came no. into this episode. No, Julia continues to uh, flex, fully push the envelope, and uh, wow. I've been wanting to learn anyway, so I just used it as an excuse to mm-hmm. finally do the dang thing. What Hell is yeah. Violet Evergarden about? It's the only it's about- anime that I don't. Of of the ones, it's not the only anime. It's the only anime of the, of the four we chose that I'm not familiar with. It's about this girl who spends her uh, essentially whole life in a war, and she's like very broken by it. And it's about her learning emotions through being a um, like a kind of like a typewriter for people who are illiterate. And so she she writes people's letters, but since she doesn't know what emotions are, she's not very good at it. So every episode is just her kind of going through therapy. Mm. And it's absolutely beautiful. And every episode will make you cry. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful show. Yeah. If you want to cry a lot, it's good to watch. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And they have this like kind of Victorian style. <laughs> So what I decided that my character would be in this show is I would be so like the repair wild. person. Hell because yeah. Because there's so many like mechanical things around. Like Violet got both of her arms taken off in the war. So they get replaced by these beautiful like mechanical ones. So I thought that I would be like the repair person for those mechanical limbs and maybe like some typewriters. Like a, like a Winry. Yes. Like a Winry. That's a different anime. So now but. this is me <laughs> figuring out the lighting. I already had a sketch wow. that I very quickly drew. And then I didn't like the spacing. I thought the room was too long. So I moved so you, everything in. So it, it actually took you more than 10 hours because you did a full sketch before yeah. you started in <laughs> The Blender. sketch took me like a minute, though. No, of I course really it did. I really just struggled it. Uh, so I've, I've loaded it into Photoshop now, and I'm going to paint over it. Like Karina said, you know, some artists do this uh, as just like an easy way to lay it out. Yeah, Yeah, it's a tool. Um, Cheat. I had had to go back in, make a copy of the thing, and then play with some of the the levels so I could see some of the light better and some of the edges. But you know, Um, the background in my drawing is the color green. Jacob I did tell purposely me, did the ugliest. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob did say, because um, I, I, I told him basically that I was spending a lot of time in the background, and he was like, how did you make a character challenge into a background challenge? You always do that, though. I this is just par this. for the course. I don't know why that's a question. <laughs> I was just like, once a, but it seems to stretch further every time. This yeah, time like... like- Eight let Julia let Julia do her background thing. Your Someone's persona, gotta. <laughs> you you drew an entire none of us like, did a background <laughs> shop. Now yeah. you have to do this like Julia insane angle. Has to pick up the slack for the rest of us. None of us did a background this time. <laughs> yeah, it's because who wants to do that? It sucks. <laughs> Julia does. I oh, do. we get to draw. We get to draw some anime characters. Julia, okay. I, I got Hasn't I gotta even drawn Blender. her character. <laughs> Off to the old background minds. Yeah, her character's still not here at all. No. My my drawing of my character like starts at like minute seven or eight out of ten. <laughs> God. Uh, and lasts about a minute. Um yeah, so now I'm just blocking in all of like I, I tried to like chunk all the like the things in since I could use the pen tool and then I would go in and like paint to make everything look a little softer because yeah. everything looks very hand painted and there's a lot of textures in that anime. The backgrounds are gorgeous in that show. So, and there's <laughs> Just usually imagining a lot of you on working on this and Jacob comes to you is like, can you show me how to do? <laughs> can you show tool? me how to do a vanishing point? Please. I gotta make straight lines. <laughs> Some lines for my background, which is gonna be some lines. <laughs> I had come in after forty-five minutes of drawing and was nearly finished. <laughs> Listen, we're all different people. Yeah. 
<laughs> so now I'm trying to get those textures in there. Yeah. And really focus on that lighting. If you, again, the show loves some good lighting. So I went in. Yeah, and there's lots I, of like I, bloom. and Yeah, lots of bloom. It's just a, a gorgeous show. I it's chose like, a very complicated show. I appreciate this Should because... Should have chose Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes I'll see like other people's art and I'll be like, oh, maybe I should try and, you know, be able to do this. But like, I appreciate this one because I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna do anything <laughs> like this ever. In, 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 I'm never gonna do anything. Like this. So it's just like, okay, cool. Like, this is just, this is something you, you could do if you wanted to. I was putting yeah. it on the floorboards. Uh, Oh, nice. of course. <laughs> the floorboards. Can't boards. not put them in. They put the floorboards in. I have to put the floorboards in. Okay, so again, they then do- Then she deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, was the first draft. They do a lot of rug patterns. Oh my God. And that they superimpose. <laughs> you can see that they kind of just like <laughs> squish oh it in there. God. So that's what I did. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Oh, oh, here, here I come. oh, there's Julia. <laughs> here I am. Oh, a background a can be a character. Yeah. Yeah, but not yeah. for this challenge. <laughs> it's like it's like in JoJo where that one character whose stand is just a boat. Julia's stand is this entire room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's like Violet Evergarden either does very close up shots of a face or just like the person is only a small portion of the frame and it's a lot of beautiful background. Yeah, it is very like in keeping with the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. I recommend this show to anyone who wants to be sad for a in while. In a good way though. <laughs> but, like in a good way. It if really you... is just watching someone go through therapy and it's, it's a truly wonderful. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah, you finally sold me. <laughs> it's I, also short. Yeah, it uh-huh. is short. It's like, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but there's like sort of a creeping sadness all the time yeah. in 2020. And so yeah. it's mm-hmm. nice to have something that like presses the release valve. You will get the, it'll hit the catharsis button. Yeah, yeah. like, okay. I get that for sure. Uh, you'll Gotta do a add big these cry things. And you'll feel better. So uh, two small things is that something that Kyoto Animations loves to do is they love to put a, a nice, like warm color bounce light on things. So I put like a, <laughs> a bounce on like my hair and the skin and the clothes. And then uh, because they're like painted onto a cell and the backgrounds are done, I'm guessing, you know, digitally or they're printed out or whatever to make it work. Um, I, I had to blur it and put a, like a slight texture over it. Yeah, I just did that. So nice. that it it kind of like recedes into the background wow. a bit. So that it has that painter painterly feel. Jesus, Julia. Really <laughs> Wow. I love you're you're just you're back to the entire room that you made. Like, <laughs> no biggie. Not, not interested in it. <laughs> Look at this hand though. Nice. Yeah, I'm, gotta, I'm putting it on a shelf. Got to put it up on the shelf. This God, rules. Truly wild to watch that whole process. That was... If I may ask an artist's process question, because I did watch you do a lot of the draw detectives background, and I've seen you like lose your mind over a vanishing point, and if the corner's in the right space, yeah. how uh, was this like a really good process for you? Yeah, I I mean it it was a lot less like logistics trying to figure out how certain shapes would yeah. work, a lot less like, you know, planning out, like doing all of the steps that you have to do, like doing cylinders in perspective from a drawing, you have to start with a series of squares. <laughs> so this let me kind of like bypass that and I feel like, you know, if I use Blender a little bit more, I'll get faster at it and it might be worth yeah. doing. That's so awesome. Yay. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, very cool to watch. things live on the Droppy program. <laughs> this was there me she goes. learning Blender. You guys saw me learn <laughs> Blender as I went. That, that also means fucking that cool. You, the viewer, can learn Blender. Yeah. Yeah. You Anyone can learn happen. Blender. <laughs> Believe in yourself. If you have 10 hours, yeah. pick it, pick an anime and yeah. then draw a background from it. Do if I can Blender. do it with the pressure of knowing that 
a lot of people are going to see it and while recording my screen and having that yeah the whole process time is going you can do it damn wow. yeah so beautiful cool. well i think we all did an excellent job on this julia yeah. won <laughs> yeah but i think we all did great um, yeah let us know in the comments if you have other like speed draw type suggestions you'd like to see us do <laughs> i i mean at some point, you guys all have to draw yourselves as JoJo's as well. I already did that, so I can just host that episode. But... Only if the rest of you draw yourself in Yu-Gi-Oh style. <laughs> oh, my God. All we <laughs> we oh have no. so many things we have yeah. to do. Really well, break your only brain. Only if everyone does Violet Evergarden with the use of Blender. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do all of it. <laughs> oh, my God. Please, no. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Dropy if you haven't already and click of the like. Click of the like, click of the bell. Go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Dropy. And if you want to support us, that's the good way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Um, we've also got merch. You can buy that. Links in the description. That's it, and baby. We, and we stream on Twitch. And we stream yeah, on Twitch. We do it all. Twitch.tv slash Dropy show. Yeah. We're yeah. sorry. 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 Julia, don't say sorry. Oh, <laughs> I take it back. Thank you.